This video is sponsored by Canon. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're keeping well. Well, as you can see, I am surrounded by a fantastic carpet of bluebells. And the aim of the game today is to get one or two nice shots. And as the thumbnail says, head back home, get the printer out and edit in Canon's professional print and layout software. Hopefully it's gonna save me some time, money, paper and ink. Basically what you can do, you can tell the software which paper you're gonna use and on this occasion, I'm gonna go for Canon's Fine Art Rough Paper, which is a lovely textured paper. And hopefully it's gonna bring out all the tones and all the textures of the bluebells and these beech and ash trees that you can see behind me and, and the leaves that are coming out nicely now and bring the colors out. But more importantly, what you see when you're editing on screen is what is actually gonna come out of the printer, all being well. You can put in the, the the certain papers uh, print profiles and then edit it on screen and then hopefully it's gonna stop all those test prints and print again and print again edit a bit more saturation no don't like the shadows so hopefully the professional print and layout software will enable me to get that print perfect first time I know in the past, sometimes as a rule, we have to just up the exposures a bit or lower the saturations a bit and then two or three prints later, you're about there. So hopefully, yeah, we'll get back and uh, run off a couple of prints and uh, get one on the wall. I've always wanted to have some bluebells uh, of my own on the wall, so hopefully we'll crack that today. The weather, as you can see, it's a bit flat, a bit dull and overcast. It is forecast a bit of rain, so we better crack on. Let's go and find a composition. Well, I have been wandering around, listening to the sheep, <laughs> capturing lots of different compositions. It's quite tricky, but we all love the challenge in woodland photography of separating all the different trees, getting a nice balanced set composition. And then just like that, I just turned around and the sun came out and gave me about two minutes of light. And it was fantastic. Some lovely shadows. I was in portrait, I was in landscape altering the variable polarizer to suit obviously when you switch from landscape to to portrait and back it it alters the polarizing but yeah got some lovely shots in fact here comes a bit of light again now let's just have that and for the eagle eyes amongst you you probably noticed i've got the r5 and the new rf 70 to 200 got it on demo more about that in the next video but anyway and just like that, the light's gone again. So you've got to be so quick. I have felt a few spots of rain as well. So yeah, I'm quite happy with that. And the, the compositions that I've got, I think it might make a nice panoramic as well. So uh, a nice, a nice narrow wide, wide print. But anyway, I'm happy with what we've got. I think I say there is a few dabs of rain about, spots of rain. So I think without further ado, oh, I'll put all the settings and bits and bobs up when we get back in, when we get back home into the studio and uh, let's head back and get some printing done. Right, hi <laughs> guys, we're back in the studio again, next to the printer. I'm armed with that uh, Canon's Fine Art Rough Paper. Got some loaded in, it's A3+, plus, so nice big size. Now I have got the image up that you guys helped me choose thanks to everyone that commented on instagram and facebook and on the youtube channel on the video that i put out asking for your advice of, as to which image to choose and the winner was or the one with the most votes the most comments was image number one so that half and half image of the the bluebells and the trees as you can see here i have given it a little bit of editing 
just briefly, because I know some of you commented how yellow the image looked and how the highlight tones were quite overpowering. So I've reduced them a bit, softened it a bit, given it a bit of an autumn effect just to smooth everything off, but I haven't lost the detail. As you can see, got it on the screen here. So without further ado, let's get open Canon's print and layout software. So we go into automate, and then as you can see, I've already downloaded it off the Canon website. Um, it's specifically designed for the, the Pro 300 and the Pro 1000, I think, but really suits the Pro 300. So we're gonna go into Canon Professional Print and Layout, and then it should open the image up in a minute. Here we go, we don't wanna watch the guide, so I'm just gonna drag that. Because I've cropped it, as you can see, quite in, in a landscape fashion, I'm just gonna drag that close to the edge there, something like that. And then what we'll do is we'll, we'll guillotine off the tops and bottoms. But that's it, and as you can see on the menu on the left, we've already chosen the Pro 300. Now in general settings, I've chosen the heavyweight fine art paper, and then going down the scale. And this is what's the great thing. I am now telling, I'm linking up the printer to the laptop and I'm telling it exactly what paper I've got and what I want it to do and that's the beauty of this software. I'm gonna go into the color settings in a minute and just have a bit of a tweak and then, because I, I say I did them brief settings but I wanna edit in the software to make sure that what I see on screen is what's gonna come off the printer. So we've got A3+, Plus. we're in the top feed, print quality, I want the highest quality auto clear coating and then the layout alignment well I've just dragged it and, dro and dropped it so that's all super dupe um, the ICC profile the color mode is already uploaded as you can see you can choose no color correction but I want the ICC profile for the the paper that I've chosen at the top here that's already embedded it into this software so that's good and I think that is about the lot there we are look we've got the printer profile just at the next box down that's obviously fine art these are all already loaded in there look so we're going to go premium premium fine art rough so we'll choose that perceptual rendering and that is basically it for there and now this is the all important thing in the color settings now as I said I've given it a brief edit but I really wanted to play with everything in this software and then get it all correct. So let's just look at the brightness. So again, we can go up and down the brightness. Now I know quite a lot of people when they're printing and I've learned in the past that, well, before I went into this software, you have to just knock the exposure up half a stop to make it match what comes out the printer. But I'm not going to on this one. We're gonna keep that at zero. So let's keep that at zero. Uh, the contrast, does it need any contrast? You could probably give it a little bit. It's, it's bringing, it's making, yeah, it is bringing, bringing everything to life a bit. Let's go on plus five on that then, on the contrast. I do like that. Signs, I'm not too bothered about. Let's have a look at the yellows because we did mention about the yellows in them trees, in the leaves there. So let's just up the yellows a bit and see what that does. It is bringing out the, the, the bramble. I was plenty late enough. In, in photographing these bluebells. Incidentally, I headed down to near Hemel Hempstead for these. Thanks to Steve Paston, good mate Steve Paston, for giving me the heads up on this, because I was really struggling up here in Lincolnshire. Couldn't really find many bluebell woods. So uh, yeah, good mate Steve said, get yourself here. So I headed down there and, and he wasn't wrong. What a lovely carpet it was. Anyway, I'm blabbering on. So let's go back to, I don't think it needs too many yellows. Let's go five on the yellows. I don't want to bring these brambles out too much but I do want to get a little bit of colour in the trees there so um, magentas let's just have a look no I don't think no it's making it too green then so let's just take the take it up a little bit we'll go we'll go three we'll go happy medium I did know when I used to work at RAF Cranwell uh, one of the guys in the the photo section, he would take all his sliders way past where you were meant to and then just bring the sliders back on all the edits, on all the saturations, shadows, highlights, brightness, um, all the blacks. He'd go all the way past and that's that's how I learn really, by eye. Um, there's no real set. It's, it's, it's all, We're all individual on our tastes, aren't we? But I usually take the slider way past and then bring it back again. So let's have a look. That's at zero. Let's just go back on that magenta. 
we can give it a little bit. I think it's bringing out the, the tones in the bark a bit. We'll leave it at that. Scions, scions, let's just go. That's obviously going to affect the bluebells, isn't it? So I think just trying to get the tones of the bluebells right for what they were on the naked eye. And I think when that's at, when that's at zero, probably a little bit blue. So let's, again, we are working to the, the ICC profile of this paper. But the whole point of using this software was to, let's leave it at that. I think the blues and the purples and the, the bluebells look about right there. Right, let's just have a look at the old channel mixer. I use, I don't usually bother too much with the levels, but I'm just going to show you what the software can do. Right, so that's taking a bit brighter look. Or oh, let's take that curve that way. No, I think that's about right. Let's take the curve the other way. No, it's gone too dark now. So we'll leave that curve exactly where we found it. I think just there. We won't bother with that, but I was just showing you how it works. We're in RGB. We want to be in RGB. And that is about it. I so say you can load and save your curves if you want. And a pattern print. I'll just show you the pattern print look so what you can do. You can set it to do whatever you want, but we don't want that today. We're not that fancy. And that is basically it. That's the colour settings. Now I'm hoping that what we are seeing there is what is going to come off the printer. So we'll go back to general settings. We'll just check that everything's okay. Yeah, that's all alright. Profiles loaded. The ICC, yeah, that's all loaded. Perceptual. Right, so let's click print and see what it does. Gives you a nice printing box look just to check over everything's right, so that's all okay. Here we go. Right, join me in a minute when the print comes off. on especially you can just see a little bit of magenta where I pulled in that magenta oh that's it look using the light in the studio absolutely super duper and listen at this <laughs> what a fantastic sound you can't be finishing that photography process and holding your work as a print so we'll get it guillotined off get it framed and finish the job off properly but that is absolutely superb and it, it matches the screen the colors on the screen perfectly the barks the the, the textures and this paper if I hold it up to the light you can obviously there's absolutely zero reflection you don't want that on a fine art print when you're using this paper and the roughness of this paper this fine art rough it just enhances the bark on the trees, especially this this ash in the middle. And yeah, I am so chuffed with that. Absolutely brilliant. And if we just go back, I know all I did was I just dragged it to the maximum size of the A3 plus paper. If I just pop that down a minute. If I take you back into here, let's just get rid of that because we're done with that now. You know, you can go through all the sizes on screen. So you can tell it what you want size wise obviously it knows it's a3 plus and you can move it to to suit you know and there's the size look so you can reduce it and you can get it you can pinpoint the size that you want on that a3 and the width and it's all there within this software and it's fantastic i was a bit lazy really i didn't show you that at the beginning i just i just dragged it because you can also drag to fit and it'll it'll as you can see there, look, it's altering the sizes. So you can't get your size wrong when you're printing or anything. It's really, it's a superb bit of software and one that I shall use going forward now. There's nothing worse than having a print, getting getting a print off and it's not quite right, doesn't quite match if you're just working in Photoshop. Whereas this, this software, this plugin, Canon plugin, it allows you to get it perfect first time. And that's it. And I mean, especially when you're printing at this size, there's a lot of ink there and you want to make sure, you want to guarantee that it's right. And that is right. Absolutely superb. 
Just the job. Jobs are good and Well brilliant, well I hope you enjoyed that guys. I'm going to put all the relevant Canon information in the comments below, in the, in the description below. Um, all, you know, all the different papers, but especially this fine art rough. And uh, absolutely brilliant. Chuffed to bits with that. Well worth the three and a half hour trip down to Hemel Hempstead. And thanks again guys for helping me choose this image. That's going to get framed. I'll take it off to my local framers. Give him a bit more work. I've been giving him lots of work lately. And uh, get it on the wall. And I shall show you this in a later video. All framed and hung up on the wall. Absolutely fantastic. Well thanks ever so much for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed that. Leave any comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Get hold of, say I'll put all the relevant information for Canon in the description below. The guys, at the Canon team are absolutely fantastic. You know, I've been asking them questions about printing and they get back to you straight away. The Canon service is second to none. It really is and I can't, I can't uh, emphasise that enough. So thanks Canon for all your help that you've given me in helping produce this video. And uh, yeah, jobs are good and off to the printers, off to the uh, framers now. Printers, I've got a printing in my brain. Off to the framers now and get that done. Brilliant. Thanks ever so much for watching guys. Take care. Catch up soon. Thank you.